In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this. We highly recommend to you Envato Elements, millions of creative assets, unlimited downloads, everything you need to help you create better videos. All plans with special prices are only in our link in the video description. Click now and be happy. Hey what's up guys, I'm Jordan Lee. Welcome to Hey Videos Tutorials. The first thing you need to do is download this font. I'll leave the link in the video description. It is also important that you have installed two plugins on your computer called Element 3D and Optical Flares by Video Copilot. Element 3D is a plugin that will facilitate our work with 3D effects. Optical Flares is a plugin for designing and animating realistic lens flares in After Effects. We will also leave in the description the link for you to download both. This tutorial is an advanced level, but we are going to explain with patience, step by step, everything you need to know to successfully create the text animation. Remembering that you can also speed up the video if you find the tutorial too long. After you install the font and the plugins, with After Effects open, use the text tool and type Wakanda forever. Let's now create a new solid. Layer, new, solid. Then apply the 3D element to the solid. Click on the solid, then go to Effect, Video Copilot, Element 3D. In the Effects Control Panel, click on Custom Layers, Custom Text and Masks. In Path Layer 1, change None to Wakanda Forever. Then go to Scene Setup. It will open a new window. Then click on the extrude option so that your text appears. You can click and drag on the canvas to see how your text looks. Click on bevel and let's make changes to extrude. Put 1.70. I think that size is enough. Click extrusion model. In bevel copy select 2. In Tessellation, in the Path Resolution part, put Extreme. With the Bevel 1 option still selected, look for Basic Settings and change the Diffuse Color to Black. Look for Bevel Outline and check the Enable box. The text will look like this. To improve the edges a little more, go to Expand Edges. We put the value of 0.18 and then 0.77 in bevel size. Let's work now with the environment part. When you click on this part here, a window will open a folder called V1 Environment. Choose the PNG file named Lobby. This will give your text a new texture. You can also modify some parameters like contrast, brightness and saturation those were our modifications click OK click OK again to close the scene setup window Let's go back to Element 3D's Effects Control Panel. Click on Render Settings. Lighting. In the Add Lighting part, select Dramatic. In Rotate Environment, we are going to animate some parameters. Make sure the cursor is at the beginning of the timeline, at 0. In X, we are going to put 30. In Y, we are going to put 25. In Z, we are going to put 40. Click on that little clock both X, Y, and Z. 
We then drag the cursor from 0 to 5 seconds and set the value 0 to X, Y, and Z. Select Solid Object. Press U key on keyboard. It will reveal the keyframes. Select all of them. Right click, Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease. Excellent. Let's change the position of the keyframes. They will start at 1 second and end at 5 seconds. Now we are going to create a camera for the scene. Let's go to Layer, New, Camera. Name, Camera 1, Preset, 50 millimeters. Okay. On the keyboard, press the C key and see that you can change the camera position in several ways. Let's choose this symbol here so we can zoom in. Clicking on camera 01. Press P and let's animate the position. Place the cursor at 1 second. Click on the clock. Then drag the cursor up to 8 seconds. Press C on your keyboard, left click and drag backwards. With this we will be able to make the text animation going backwards. We click again on the solid we created. Let's go to Effects Controls. We click on Group 1. Particle Look. Multi Object. Check this box. Enable Multi Object. Go to Rotation. In Y Rotation, we are going to change the value to 64. If the letters are too close, go back in the text and make your changes here. Continuing the rotation part in Enable Multi Object. Go to Displace XYZ. Leave the X Displace at 0 0.14. Click on the clocks to create the keyframes. Place the cursor in one second. Let's go up to 6 seconds. And we put 0 on both the X Displace and the Y Rotation Multi. Let's check how the result is. If you find that the letters in your title are too far apart, you can make changes in X Displace. Make any adjustments you feel are necessary. As we are going to create a new solid, we will rename this one to Element 3D. Now we are going to create a new solid. Layer, New, Solid. This solid, we'll call it Lens Flare. Click OK. With the Lens Flare Solid selected, go to Effect, Video Copilot, Optical Flares. A point of light will appear in the composition. In Effects Controls, go to Options. Click Clear All. And then on Yes. We are now going to create our own Lens Flare. In Lens Objects, Basic, click Glow. This point of light will appear here. and then click on streak. Let's make some modifications to streak in common settings. Let's modify the stretch value from 100% to 10% and 46.5%. In global parameters, let's modify the glow to 57.5 and 17.5. And the streak we left 96. Now let's change the colors. With the glow selected, let's go to Colorize. In Color 1, we select the desired color. 
Okay. Then we do the same with the streak. See how our lens flare is turning out. Click OK to finish. Returning to our main screen, we notice that our lens flare is above our title. We go to mode and from the normal option we put add. Alright. Let's lower the brightness to 50%. Let's go on Flickr. And speed put 15. Amount 40. Random seed 40. Let's now change the position of the lens flare. By clicking on it and dragging it here. To make the lens flare we created follow the camera movement. We are now going to positioning mode. And source type we change from 2D to 3D. Change the position of the lens flare to the desired location. Let's lower the brightness to 25%. Now with lens flare selected, let's duplicate it. Press Ctrl plus D. Now repeat this two more times. We now have three copies of lens flare. Let's change the position of all of them. Good. Finally, let's apply a fade in. For this, we will create a new solid in black color. Go to Opacity. Press the T key. We will create a keyframe close to 3 seconds with 0% opacity. Then move the cursor back a little and create another keyframe at 100% opacity. Select both and switch to Easy Ease by pressing the F9 key. Let's see how it turned out. It turned out really nice, didn't it? That's all folks. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure you give us a like and check out more on Hey Videos tutorials. See you in the next video and don't forget to check out Black Panther 2 in theaters. God bless you all and Wakanda forever.